Uh, I definitely want to leave a legacy for my family, for my children. Um, being raised by a single mom who's a minister, uh, it was taught to me at an early age that a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children. Good morning and welcome to another episode of My Natural Health Traffic Report. I'm your host, Cortez, financial health mentor to the working class, coming to you live and direct on this gloomy, gloomy day here in St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, but as always, if you're watching this on YouTube, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you're watching it on Facebook, then leave us a comment, share it on your wall, share it with your friends. We want to get this information out to the people that uh, can most benefit from it. So. Uh, that's why we do these uh, financial health traffic reports. Uh, today's episode is brought to you by SoundOffSociety.com, the place to go for a unique perspective on all things news, from world news to uh, entertainment news, travel news, uh, politics. It doesn't matter. Sound Off Society got you covered. Uh, so check them out at www.SoundOffSociety.com. When you finish watching this, jump over to their Facebook page, give them a like. Or if you're watching on YouTube, when you're done here, jump over to their YouTube channel and subscribe. I think you'll be thoroughly impressed about how they report news that matters. Today's question, how to build wealth in your 40s. Alright, if you're like me, then maybe you're a little bit behind the eight ball in the sense that I did nothing to uh, prepare myself for my golden years uh, in my 20s and 30s. All right, I just turned, uh, uh, well, I'll be 41 here in a couple months uh, in June. And uh, I definitely want to leave a legacy for my family, for my children. Um, being raised by a single mom who's a minister, uh, it was taught to me at an early age that a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children. Um, so I definitely want to do that. Uh, and it doesn't matter that I'm a little bit late or behind the, the curve. Uh, because there are some things that you can do to accelerate your wealth building process if you understand a handful of uh, principles. Now, at Financial Health Mentor, we do teach a unique style of financial literacy, but they're practical proven wealth creation strategies that anyone can use, especially those of us who are a little older and we look at our retirement accounts and we realize that uh, we're not going to be on target to have the money that's going to be able to sustain our lifestyle. Um, in the next 20 years or, or 10 years or whatever your retirement date is uh, but there's some things that you can do uh, to help you uh, actually uh, uh, catch up so to speak so number one you want to visit your w-4 form all right we know that most people are overpaying their taxes according to irs.gov to the tune of $160 uh, per month all right so look at your w-4 form and check out your withholdings to see if uh, Uncle Sam is withholding too much money from your paycheck based on your current life situation. All right, it says on the form that you should be revisiting that form every year or if you have changes in your life situation. Uh, for instance, if you get married, all right, that's a change in your life situation. If you have a kid, that's a change in your life situation and it affects the amount of withholdings that um, you, you tell your employer to keep from your check. And if you bring that money back, based on the correct W-4 form, then we move to step two, which is eliminating any debt, all right? One of the main reasons that working class people do not invest is because they think they can't afford it. Well, if you're burying or, or drowning in debt, then you're probably right, you can't afford it. So, uh, for instance, if you were able to get that $160 back that most people are overpaying in their taxes, uh, you take that $160 and you start applying it towards revolving debt credit card debt, high interest rate uh, loans uh, of any kind, usually via uh, retail stores and, and, and furniture loans and that sort of thing. You take that um, extra money that you bring back through your taxes by correcting the W-4 and you put that money towards your revolving debt because what happens is every time you clear up a revolving debt that you're servicing, it's almost like giving yourself a pay raise. So if you um, are paying 
a uh, hundred dollars a month on a credit card because because you, you're not able to get that balance down because of the the interest uh you start throwing some extra money at that and get that uh debt to go away then that's just like giving yourself a hundred dollar a month raise right so you definitely want to wipe out any debt all right and the third thing that you want to do is you want to look at your expenses all right if you have outrageous expenses because we all have our vices start looking and seeing where you can clean up some things all right and these vices could be as serious as uh, a cigarette addiction or habit or or as mild as you know uh maybe uh you, you you're spending too much money at, at lunch uh, on a daily basis uh when you go out from work uh, not to say that you don't you stop going out for work uh, uh for lunch but maybe you reduce the uh, amount of money that you're spending on those uh lunch trips every day all right you get that money back for instance i just cut my cable out all right a lot of the programming that we were watching we were streaming from the internet so why would i pay a hundred dollars a month for a service that i'm not using and all of us if we really go through our budget we can find things that we are really not using cut those out and that brings me a hundred dollars a month back in my household because they were charging me a hundred dollars a month for cable tv all right so that's an extra hundred dollars that i have to throw towards my debt all right now last but not least if you do not have a home-based business to bring in some sort of business income then you are literally leaving money on the table because having a home-based business not only will bring in extra money but it also saves you money by using the tax code to your benefit all right having a home-based business will allow you to create tax deductions from expenses that you already have right now all right like some of you guys are watching this right now via your smartphone all right so you're paying a cell phone bill right you're paying a cell phone bill, but I pay the same cell phone bill, but because I have a home-based business, uh, a percentage of that cell phone bill is tax deductible, all right? You're paying rent and mortgage to live somewhere. Well, because I have a home office in my home for my home-based business, a percentage of my mortgage, all my utilities, any repair and maintenance that I do to my house is tax deductible. So it saves you on taxes, but not to mention you will um if you're in the right business start developing some extra business income so you put all this stuff together man and that will help you catch up to where you should be uh and get you on the pace to hit your retirement goal so i know this video has gone a little longer than i typically do uh but i also want to reach out to you and let you know that if you don't have a home-based business already and you're looking all right reach out to me at www.financialhealthmentor.com. You can actually partner with me. And guess what my business is? My business is teaching these financial strategies to hardworking people. You know people in your life right now who can use some financial literacy and who may take to this information. Well, we not only help you get your personal financial situation together, but we also pay you for sharing the message. So uh, I'm Cortez, you're watching the Financial Health Traffic Report. And before we get out of here, I always give you the formula for success, which is thoughts plus actions multiplied by time will give you the results that you want. So the right thoughts lead to the right actions and ultimately you will get the right results. So don't forget our sponsor, soundoffsociety.com. Check them out and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.